but everyone's saying that I can just hammer it back into place. Hammer it back into place. Hammer it back into place. It's absolutely frigid today. It's cold here, man. I have no idea what's going on. I got some new upgrades for the bike, and I'm going to put them on. <laughs> and I know I got quite a few comments on the most recent vid with the fan, where I met that fan on the road. And you guys saw the bent tire and how it was leaking out air. And um, I snap purchased and bought a new rim for this bike. It's a new front rim. So, But everyone's saying that I can just hammer it back into place. So I'm going to... You know, now I'm gonna try it. Anyway, the neighbors have an extremely annoying dog. I'm sure that dog will not shut up while I'm out here, which might cause them to move. But anyway, here's the uh, stock exhaust. I didn't want to order some aftermarket anything. I kind of wanted to like bring back the original sound because I used to have one of these and the original sound of it's great. You know, it is a little restricted. It, is, it does have a baffle or whatever you guys want to call it. And I might remove the baffle. I don't know. I think the condition of this exhaust is actually quite good. <sighs> this thing's huge. Oh man, I had no idea. Oh, it's pretty though. It's pretty. It's certified, certified mail. Right there and also you know if someone wanted it and they are in um you know area where you have emissions tests then i don't want to be selling a bike that's straight pipe because i know how much of a pain that can be well, there you have it got a little dent on it but it is a stock oem pipe which should just slide right over this Oh, this is in the way, I guess. I had no idea how big this was. <sighs> I only got it for like 50 bucks, which I think is good. So I will install it. It shouldn't be too hard. But today, I'm going to try to bang this rim back. And we're going to see how this goes. I have a hammer right here. And new dust seals for it as well. But anyway, I want to try this... F this, f this f this rim bending technique you guys brought to light this is not doing anything as it stands let's find out i think i might have the angle down here already <laughs> actually it looks like it's Going back into place. I'm in disbelief. <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, dude. <sighs> Is it coming down? <sighs> Need more leverage. I don't know if it's going down. Someone said something about like a brass tip. <laughs> it's very difficult to tell if I'm actually bending it back into place or not. Wish I didn't have all these neighbors. Is it moving? Kinda. I could draw, try my big ass, I could try a real hammer with metal on metal action. <laughs> that might do it. I guess what I could do is I could use this and then hit this. Let's see how this goes. so hard for me to tell if it's bigger or smaller. I feel like I was getting... Is it going down? Oops. Really? <laughs> Ooh, <sighs> 
has it moved? That's my question. All right, I'm gonna go ham on it for a second here. I think it's gone down. It's really hard for me to tell. Either I'm hallucinating or it looks better. If it holds there, it's better. My arm is getting so tired. <laughs> feeling it hasn't changed. I think I'm just gonna put the new rim on there. <laughs> the new rim sounds a lot better. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna throw this exhaust on real quick. <laughs> I told me. Yeah, it's how snug it's actually getting. I kind of think this is from the last bike that was on there. <laughs> it was. I just straight cut it off. This factory is working hella fast on this. Just as I suspect them. <laughs> Alright. Probably like this.
I can't miss that. Uh, if it goes in the front. I don't think it goes in the front, though. Uh, it just needs to be right there. It's on there, but it's a bolt spot right here. It doesn't line up. <sighs> Might just do a metal zip tie back there and call that good. I mean, it'll stay on. Everything will be fine. You guys want to hear it? It's going to be a lot quieter. <laughs> Huge difference. Uh, there is a little bit of... A little bit of air escaping. that exhaust leak Look how much smoke it's blowing out what the hell definitely is blowing out a lot of smoke oh god little puppy it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's fine. Here, maybe if he, maybe if he looks at me, well, here. No, no, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> she doesn't like motorcycles. I know. Sorry, I apologize. <laughs> well, there is some exhaust escaping, and it is shooting out pretty ugly color. I need to. Might sound like an idiot, but is this the this is the radiator for sure? But where do you do you fill it? Uh, here is it air cool? Like why is it shooting out smoke? Well, if you guys can help me with that, I appreciate. It. Also, if you guys can help me out with this, I don't know what to do about this. These don't go in the throttle tube, uh, shell or case, whatever you want to call it. Here, this one's too thick. This one fits, but this one has a notch on it, and I think these are supposed to screw in. So these are my questions for you guys. Obviously, I'm gonna take the tank off. Still have a lot more work to do on it, but these are my these are my uh, spots where I'm slipping up right now. One, I think I'm gonna keep the front rim that I have because this other one's way too janky, and I don't think a hammer is gonna do it. Maybe it will. If you guys tell me to keep banging, I'll keep banging on it, but I don't think uh, it's going to happen. And um, besides that, I'm going to be taking off the whole front end here. I already got a new brake line for the front brake, so this is longer now. I'm going to paint this. Debating on keeping this front fender, but I am going with a graphite color on the tank. I was thinking I would go graphite on this, graphite on the reservoir up here as well, and then I would also go graphite on... Also going to go... Well, I'd probably want to go graphite on this inner part on the tank. We'll see. We'll see about that. Graphite on the graphite... Oh, I was going to do up here. These two. Uh, front fork. For the graphite covers, or whatever you want to call them. And then I was going to do the graphite on the graphite. I do the rims. I was going to do the rims in graphite. Obviously, I have a dope Suzuki logo up here in white. Reflective. Maybe put a badass S up here. God damn, this bike sounded way better without the stock exhaust, though. Straight pipe made it sound beast. Now it sounds a little weak. 
I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I return the return the exhaust? Should I rip out the baffle on this thing? I could do that. That would make it sick. Sound better. I don't know. These are ideas. I need your guys' opinion. And uh, thanks for watching this build series. Hope you guys are looking forward to a final build here. And uh, it's going to be a little bit. But hopefully I can have it done before Daytona Beach in Florida. Which is in a little bit. But I can go around stunting off on the new Suzuki. That'd be sick, wouldn't it? I don't know. We'll see. I, I didn't even want to shoot a video today. But I saw a lot of comments were like, hit the front hit the front rim with the hammer. And I just picked up the rim in the mail. So I was like, well, if I can hit the front rim with the hammer and straighten it out <laughs> but you know the more i think about it it's a little ridiculous oh yeah here's a 600 here's a naked bike i'm selling it to someone front rim's bent but uh don't worry i took a hammer to it <laughs> I took a hammer to it and um so everything's working great now i think it's straight i uh, have only gotten speed wobbles a couple times i could i could get an aftermarket exhaust on there so that they return it probably hopefully <laughs> Which means I'd probably want this box. <laughs> so I'll think about it. You guys let me know what you think. You better exhaust on that. No one wants a quiet bike. Loud pipes save lives. True. Alright. Bye bye. Bonus content. Yo, you guys gotta check this out. What's good? It's Maxi here, baby. It's the first time I'm starting the bike for the day. And I want you guys to see what happens when I start it in second gear. I think it's a neutral. No, it's not. So watch. Clutch in. I'm starting it. Whoa! See what I'm talking about? And it still won't stop. See? Isn't that crazy? I don't understand why it does that. It's like the plates stick or something. Alright. Be nice if I could power up second gear. I need a teacher cornering. Holy shite! She's ripping. All the, I mean, I probably ain't on a little there, but. What's up? Speed demon? Done, beat it out, beat him out. That F 150 is cruising. All right, we got groceries, baby. You know it, you can know it. Groceries, check, backpack full of sh check. to give him the op the opposing max pass. I'm not gonna lie though, it's much harder to wheelie with one finger. <laughs> Clutch isn't very light on this bike. That was a weak wheelie I gave him, but considering I have about 40 pounds on my back, I'm not looking to loop it out, crush the groceries, demolish the bike, demolish all confidence. Oh, God, those wheelies do hurt. So I know you guys are probably curious what happened to my hand. I actually, um... This person looks like an aggressive driver. I actually broke my knuckle. Um, and yeah, that's that. Make sure you're going around, Bubba. So yeah, I'm having to wear this brace. It sucks, I hate it. But uh, if I don't wear it, I'm in a lot of pain. And the recovery is non-existent. It actually worsens when I don't wear it. 
was, uh, I gotta wear this for like six weeks or something. I don't know. Basically until it stops uh, hurting because I don't have health insurance, so. Can't really do much. <laughs> my only health insurance is my airbag vest. That's really it. And it has paid off actually already. When I slid to the mountain, I would have definitely broken some sh but shout out Eli, you guys come through, come through baby!